Hi, Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a video for Global Land. It's a company that sent me some stamps, and I thought you might want to watch as I paint and color a card. I hope you'll stay tuned. So I made this, or I stamped this image, and uh, this is the image that came from Global Land, and it came on a set. I'll show you the rest of the set. It's a birthday theme, but this really reminds me of Christmas instead of birthday, so I'm going with a Christmas card. Then I wanted to show you how, if you only have six by six inch paper, which this is a six by six inch paper pad, if you have that and you're making a five by seven card, how do you make it work for you? And what I did was I took the two pieces and I laid them together and I glued them about probably maybe an inch, you know, if you can see it starts there and ends there to make them overlap. I wanted to kind of lay this nearby because I want to use those colors as a little bit of my inspiration. And I'm going to be using a couple of different mediums. I'm going to be using, these are called Viviva color sheets. It's basically watercolors. And um, I swatched them out on the back here. I'm going to be using Viridian, this blue, for my background. And then I'm going to be using alcohol markers for the rest. So the first thing we're going to do then is we're going to go into our, I find that Viridian color. If you've never played with these kind of things, they're really fun. All you do is you get your brush and you just touch it in there. And I like to have a little dish or something else nearby that I can swatch on and play with. This is a, an egg dish that is a chicken. And I thought it'd be fun to use it for things like this. So I bought it at a garage sale a long time ago. And um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. This is not watercolor paper. That was my mistake. You know how I sometimes do these things where I just um, come up with a bad plan and go with it. This is one of those bad plans. Now we're off to alcohol marker land after I try this. I'm going to make my road out of, I think, these three colors. Cream, yellow ochre, and terracotta. I'm going to do the cream first because it's the lightest. And then I'll go over this with um, the darker colors. I'm going to do the terracotta next. It's the darkest. I want to make the outline of my road in that. And then I'll go back over the, the terracotta with the cream. To blend it into to itself a little bit so it's not such a harsh line and then we're going to put in the yellow ochre I'm going to go along the bottom with my terracotta And then back with the yellow ochre. No, I think, yeah, I want to put a little bit more in the bottom, I think. Okay, and over everything with cream. And there's my road. Kind of three dimensional. I'm going to start with mint green, which is our lightest green. 
And I'm going to do that. This is not at all mint green, I want, I want you to know. Okay, then, I'm going to use grass green. Now I'm going to use my darkest green, and it's emerald green. If you ever want your colors to be darker than they are, just go over a couple coats. If you've never done that, th that works well. It's fast, it's simple. And I'll do it on this um, green at some point so that you can see how to do it. Now you can use your, um, your clear blender to fix those things. If you want to continue to make it darker, just keep going on over it again. Like that. I think I'm gonna make his hood a little bit darker too. I don't know why. I just felt like I needed to. Alright, then my third green is grass green. And I think I'm just gonna do some shadowing with this. I never said I was great at this, just saying. I don't have a lot of patience and I just seem to just kind of wing it. Okay, All right, now I'm gonna do his skin, which is basically just his nose. No, vivid red and deep red. Reds are really hard to blend, so um, don't do a lot. If you're going to be trying to blend, don't do a big space because you need to be able to do it. You're blending pretty much at the same time that you're doing your first coloring. So make sure you are quick about it. I'm gonna just Use the darker red for the insides. I'm going to use deep yellow for another of my package colors. And this is pastel blue. It's probably not pastel, but we're going to call it pastel blue because that's what they're calling it. I have these little tree shapes that I cut out. I have a punch from, um, I think it's an old Stampin' Up! punch that I used. I'm going to cut our background down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. I'm using barely art glue. him. You got to put a lot of glue on this foam because it'll it'll absorb it. Okay. 
then have my trees. I think what I'm going to do with them, I think I want to bend them a little bit. Not a lot. I just want them to have a little bit of life. I'm going to put him right there. Then, I don't want to look like he's right in the road, you know? I think I'm going to go with three. So there's my card. I hope that you enjoyed this. It was just kind of a way to spend a little bit of time watching somebody color and come up with an idea of how to make a card like that. I hope you enjoyed this, that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.